mold already. I'm going to use uh, water-based clay and I just want to get the form. Hopefully it gets some detail, but we'll see. If not, we'll just work on that. And I'm just going to start okay, pushing this clay in there. And when I take that out, I'll put it on top of Predator's face and make it fit. And we'll make a mold of that so we'll have a new, a complete new mask. Okay, so we want the detail. So we want to push in. Okay, now that I've got the clay in here, I'll put it up here so I can record here. What we want to do now is take the clay out and peel the silicone. You have yourself, it's very flimsy, but that's okay because we're going to work on it. This guy over here. Okay, so now that I have this on here, well, I need to now make it so it fits. So I will start cutting away. Okay, so I'll just okay, so I wrapped it up in uh, some plastic wrap uh, just because it's water-based clay, so I don't want it to dry up on me. Uh, I'm taking a break right now, and I'll be back to continue the sculpting. Okay, so here's the mask ready to be molded. If you notice, I uh, actually didn't sculpt these little guys, same as this one over here. I didn't sculpt that. Uh, they're too small and, and it was kind of difficult to get the right thing, so I figured what I did is I added some resin on the mold here and got a copy of it and just uh, pushed it into the clay. Uh, looks like there's a little dent here. I'll have to fix that. But it's uh, ready to go, guys. All right, we're getting, we're getting there. That's ideal. Actually, it's not that bad, but I'll fix that. Even though if I were to keep that, it's no problem either. Once you mold this and you have it in resin, you can always sand it down. Uh, but I'm, what I'm going to do, though, is actually kind of damage it a little bit just to uh, get these little details on on this one here. I want to try to do that stuff here, add that, and uh, make it look a little damaged. Okay, so now that we have it semi-smooth, I got some aluminum paper, scrunched it all up. And what we're going to try to do is these damaged areas. Okay. Move them up. Not too much because we don't want to lose the detail of the damage. So I'll be brushing. Okay, so here we have the first coat. I'm going to give it about maybe two more coats of the same. And uh, then we'll just add the uh, plaster bandages on top to give it the support. 
and we'll cast a mask. Okay, so I added more silicone that is uh, already dry. I actually peeled it all off to save some time on the video. Uh, over this, as you seen in the past videos, I added plastic bandages to give it a, a shell to support it, which was on there. Pop that out, and I peeled this off. Uh, of course, see it's flimsy, so again, as before, you put it in this shell and it holds its shape. Uh, this clay, well, we can just uh, start taking it off. And once it's all off, then I'll just clean them very nicely and as if nothing ever happened. So now, if I'm mixing some resin, actually this is called uh, Smoothcast 300. Added some black dye in it. As you can see, I already did three coats, and what I'm doing is I'm just pouring it in. And this thing starts drying up and hardening in about three minutes or so. So you just push it in and around. You don't want it thick, you want it thin. So I'm just going to keep doing this until it starts thickening. Should do it. Okay, it's now ready. Uh, after the coast, I actually let it dry about 15 minutes just to make sure it's nice and hard. And time to demold. Grind this out, smooth it out, and start painting. Okay, so I uh, went ahead and took out one of these dreads, took that off, drilled a hole in here to put some magnets in here to hold the mask. Now, I already tried it out. Uh, it was a great idea. Thank you, Kevin, Ro Robot Online. But I realized that these magnets that I've got, which are the smallest ones we have, they have, they're not strong enough to hold the mask. I mean, it holds it, but it, uh, it, it, it kind of falls back. So now I have to do what I didn't want to do, but I have to, and that is drill a hole here, put this powerful back magnet right up to the surface, add the putty again, and get the best texture I can. Uh, and that will definitely hold the mask. There's the magnet. Pulls in here. Cover up that with putty. And that should do it. I have now covered the area where the magnet is. In the mask, I still have the two on the side and the big one right in the middle. And let's test it out. There we go. Right. Okay, so I already added the uh, light. Uh, here's the light here. And what I did is I connected, here are the magnets. Here's the light bulb right in here. You got the negative one, wire that goes to the top part of the mask here and you got the uh, excuse me the positive wire that goes down to the bottom area okay all wires are connected we put it then you get these little guys the longest one is the negative 